Allied Automotive. What brings you and Greg to marriage counseling today? Jake from State Farm. My husband calls him all the time. Two, three in the morning, it doesn't matter. Greg, is this true? Yeah, Jake saves us tons on our insurance, no matter what time it is. And how much did he save you? Hundreds. Um, can I call this Jake from State Farm? You've got to be kidding me. State Farm is there for you anytime, anywhere. Just call or click today. Get to a better state. State Farm. Call me, Robin Eubanks, in Jessup, Georgia, 427-6008. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. Gruber from Air Evac Life Team Base here in Jessup. Al, why should I be a member of Air Evac? Jim, life is full of dangerous possibilities, but you can gain financial security for your whole household for only $65 a year. In the event that you are transported as a member of the Air MedCare Network, Air Evac will work with your benefits provider to secure payment for your flight. Whatever your benefits provider pays will be considered payment in full for your flight. Call Al Gruber at 912 202 0005. Remax agents do more from start to sold. They list, they show, they sell, they close. They help, they advise, they research, they guide. They do more from start to sold. That's the sign of a Remax agent. Visit Remax.com. Hi, I'm April Banks, broker owner of Remax Elite. Come see me or Gloria Overholt, Steve Dickens, Kristen Welch, or Peggy Hickey at 123 West Cherry Street, downtown Jessup. Or give us a call at 559-2142. That's 559-2142. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in southeast Georgia. Wayne County Softball. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. Lightsey's Body Shop, the Ultimaha Federal Credit Union, Southside Automotive, Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, Robin Brockton and Eubanks, your State Farm agent, the Interstate Credit Union, Remax, and Arivac. Now, here's the voice of the Yellow Jackets, Bob Morgan. Had a little rain delay, and they're getting the field ready. Should get underway in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes the most. And the grounds crews out there getting everything ready. They get that dry stuff that they can throw out there and dry everything up. They'll probably get the drag out here in a minute. But we should be underway, I'd say, in about 15 minutes here at the girls' varsity softball field, Barbara Struck Off softball field. First game of the season for Wayne County. Starting off against non-region opponent this year, Liberty County. Liberty's in our, been in our region the last couple of years, but not this year. But again, a tough opponent here this afternoon. Wayne County, Liberty County. They head to Pierce tomorrow for a 6 o'clock game. And then Friday on the road at Bacon. Next home game will be August 16th, a Tuesday at home against Richmond Hill. We'll have that game for you as well right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. I want to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here to bring you the live play-by-play action this year. Again, Lightsey Body Shop. Baltimore Federal Credit Union, South South Automotive, Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, Robin Brockington, your State Farm agent, Interstate Credit Union, Remax, and Arivac, and our sponsor for the country or sponsor for the post game sh- show is Sean O'Quinn, your country financial representative. So again, we want to thank those businesses. Again, without them, we were unable to be here to bring this live play by play action. And again, I know they get hit up by everybody in the world for signs and donations and things like that. So we do appreciate them sponsoring Wayne County. Yeah, we'll take a softball for the year 2016. Going to bring all the home games here at the Barber Struck Off softball field. We'll come back, take a look at today's starting lineup. It is in for the Wayne County Lady Yellow Jackets. The JV won earlier today by a score of 19-8. Carolyn Brockington, the winning pitcher of that JV game. Again, JV rolled 19-8 over Liberty. 
first of the game about 10, 15 minutes away. Starting lineup in for Wayne County's team, and we'll come back and take a look at today's starting lineup right after this timeout. Been in an accident? Call Lightsey's Body Shop to enter a repair at 385-6193. With a friendly staff at Lightsey's Body Shop to enter a repair, we'll meet all your collision needs. We have the newest tow truck in town with 24-hour service. With competitive rates and fast response, we can handle your accident from start to finish. We want your business. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's Lightsey's Body Shop, 385-6193. On Rayner Road, just past Dollar General. For over 60 years, Altamaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust, always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money, by updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe, and easy access to your account 24-7, the ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps. The security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. More community involvement and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by any time or visit us online at altamaha.org. And join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude towards service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. Stop by Southside Automotive for major and minor mechanical repairs. Diagnostic testing, tune-ups, oil changes, brakes. Southside Automotive is the place for quality repairs and prompt service. Make sure your AC is working its best for this hot summer. Joey says stop by today, we'll take care of you. If you want the best in automotive services, stop by Southside Automotive on 301 South in Chesil. Call 427-9653. That's 427-9653. Southside Automotive. Queen County Softball, brought to you by Lightsey's Body Shop and the Altamaha Federal Credit Union. They're putting down the foul line, that's always a good sign here as Wayne County gets set for today's game. Wayne County's starting line of his in. Macy Palmer leads it off, and she'll play second. Summer Fry will bat second and play center field. Haley Dennison will bat third and play first base. Logan Eccles clean up at shortstop. Mary Tillman, the pitcher at the number five position. Batting sixth, left fielder Ashley Burkhalter. Batting seventh, the catcher Mackenzie Price. Batting eighth, freshman Alyssa Giles in the right field. Gracie Fry will bat ninth and be the designated player. And Shelby Sorensen, the flex player, will play third base. Again, Wayne County, Liberty County, coming your way in a matter of minutes. Come back with a special guest and former Wayne County Yellow Liga player. We'll do that right at this time. I'll stay with you. It's game time, and the Yellow Jackets are ready to take the field, and you can be ready, too, when you stop by Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop and purchase your Wayne County gear, shirts, sports hats, jackets, windbreakers, you name it, they've got it, just for you to get ready for the game. Sheffield's has all types of sporting goods equipment to have your team looking their best for whatever sport may be, and they are your Under Armour gear headquarters in Wayne County. Sheffield says go Jackets, and invite you to stop by, get what you need to wear to support your team. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, located 1516 West Orange Street in Jessup. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than admit they probably don't have enough. That's why me, Robin Eubanks, focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually live on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house. The answer, insurance. Or life without having to give up college. The answer, insurance. Find out how the benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. Call me today, 427-6008, and put the life back in life insurance. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. Hoover from Air Evac Life Team Base here in Jessup. Al, why should I be a member of Air Evac? Jim, life is full of dangerous possibilities, but you can gain financial security for your whole household for only $65 a year. In the event that you are transported as a member of the Air MedCare Network, Air Evac will work with your benefits provider to secure payment for your flight. 
Whatever your benefits provider pays will be considered payment in full for your flight. Call Al Gruber at 912-202-0005. Wayne County Softball on WIFO brought to you by REMAX Real Estate and Arivac. Welcome back. They can see to get the field ready again, probably 10 minutes away. In the meantime, we got a special guest join us, feature, or former Wayne County Yellow Jacket softball player, now headed to Georgia Southern for a softball season. Hannah Twilley, how you doing, Hannah? Pretty good, how are you? Doing great. Also, co-owner, you co-owner of Harris Co-owner. Can you, call, can you call yourself co-owner of that place? Yeah, I guess so. Daddy yeah. called me co-owner, so yeah. we're going to go with it. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Co-owner of the new convenience shop right there on Henson Moser Road. Chevron Gas, but they got a cafe in there, Hurricanes Cafe, with breakfast and lunch and dinner, the whole nine yards, right? Yes, sir. Tell, tell us what all's going on in the hurricane. A lot, really. We're trying to build it up. We just got open on Friday. We're open from 5 to 9 in the restaurant and the cafe. And uh, we have a really big breakfast menu. We haven't had any complaints so far. The biscuits are amazing. Um, burgers are really good. And I'm not really a burger person, but they're, they're top of the line. Um, we're just trying to get people in there. I haven't heard anybody complain about the food yet. Everybody's been pleased with the food. So I just want to remind you, they have a place to sit down. It's like a, almost like a full restaurant kind of. Yes, sir. It's, it's kind of like a huddle house. It's, um, everything's cooked to order right now. We're trying to speed it up a little bit. So if it's a little slow, we apologize. But, yeah, right now um, we're getting some TV set to put in there, broadcast some games. Now we're going to have definitely your show on the radio. Um, yeah, just trying to make it comfortable, laid back, cool. You know, keep the sports theme going, and it's all about Wayne County, so that's what we're trying to do. And your dad, Ron, totally tells me to run everybody to be patient. The drive through is coming. It's not be ready patient. yet, but it's a work in progress. But, again, just want to remind everybody, it is open. It's open Friday. It's open okay. seven days a week. Is that correct? Yes, sir, seven days a week. Um, we close the store at at midnight on weekends. It should be open until around 10, and the cafe is going to stay open until 9. And we're going to try and keep it open after football games. So... That instead of everybody crowding over at Huddle House, y'all come see us at Hurricanes, and we'll hook you up with something good. good. That sounds good. Well, again, uh, when do you head to George Southern? Moving in Saturday. Moving in Saturday. Yes, sir. So where have you been? You've been at Middle Georgia in the meantime, right? Yes, sir. I've been at Middle Georgia for three years, and now transferring over to Southern. So. Okay. You looking forward to that? Yes, sir. Definitely. And where do they project you to play? What position? Do they know you? Honestly, anywhere I can play. If yeah. I can, if they'll take me, I'll play anywhere. Not okay. picky. Uh, well, you're in great shape. I yes, sir. That. You've been working out. Yes, know. sir. Did Dad yeah. respond for that? I know he's a workout freak sometimes. Oh, he loves it. I think he's a little jealous. But, but I can, he can't keep up with me anymore, so, you know, he's like, not. Uh, I hope he's listening. I hope he is, too, if not, I'm going to tell him, too. Uh, again. But, again, I've been able to saw It's a lot of convenience for the radio station. You know, it's right there down yes, the road. So, I mean, I stopped there this morning after I got off the Butch and Bob show, so it's just very convenient for us. So we're yes, looking sir. forward to it. And, like I said, tell us what all is the bread. I mean, they have everything, right? Eggs, oh, yes, bacon, sir. Omelets, eggs, bacon, biscuits. I mean, you name it, we yeah, got it. I mean, it's almost a full restaurant. So. Yes, sir. Who are the cooks? Do you know who the cooks are? Our head cook is Tanya McDaniel. She's a um, really good friend of ours. She's a really good cook. cook been cooking for a long time. And, like I said, she, she's impressed me with her cooking skills. So. And I, I know food. And she's doing well. Okay. Well, your dad, you know, really thought this would be a good idea for that location. Put a lot of work into it. I mean, overhaul construction, designed it, built yes, it, and they did a great job. I mean, Jonathan. Did yeah, he's work. a great yeah, guy. He his, did. Yeah, his work's impeccable. So, again, just a gorgeous building. Yes, sir. They're going to landscape around there. A lot of people, you know, uh, I told you that. I know. Was concerned about it. He said, look, I'm going to take care of all that. That's all going to get landscaped and everything. He said, just give me some time. You know, just, yes, sir. Give us a couple yeah, weeks. I, um, our big grand opening is going to be the first home football game. I think it's September, September 2nd. 2nd. Right, yes, sir. That, right. So that'll be good. Yes, yeah, so sir. That's going to be our big, I guess, unveiling. We should yeah. have landscape and drive through. Should definitely be done yeah. by then, so. Well, I like the idea you're going to stay open after the football games. Yes, sir. Night. That'll be good, because a lot of people are looking for a place to go and, you know, get a good bite to eat after the game, so. Yes, sir. Stop there before the game as well, right? Yeah, come on. If you want to come, we, we'll have it ready. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to it. Make sure when you go to Georgia Southern, you send us that schedule. So Definitely. Because me and your dad are going to come up there and watch you and uh, yeah, the two <laughs> Hannah, the Hannah Farrell and the Hannah Twilly, the yes, two sir. Wayne County girls. Hopefully we'll give Southern. y'all something to look at. That'll be fun, you know. Yes, so, sir. Are you excited about Yeah, I guess you met the coaching staff and all that. So what, yes, sir. what attracted you to Georgia Southern? Did they pursue you? Did, how did that work out? Honestly, I'm going there for my degree. Education's always the number one, so... 
go in there to finish my electrical engineering degree and hopefully I get a little ball in. So okay. you know, I can't complain. Be an electrical engineer, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> Honestly, probably come back around the store. There you go. <laughs> get a fancy degree to run the store, but hey. There you go. Well, again, it's a great store. Appreciate it. I said we got you on the football package, so they'll be hearing ads during the football season. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate sponsorship. And Glad it's open. I said, I know it's yes, been sir. a long undertaking, and you know, it was hard to get that, uh, what was it, the internet service? Was the oh, my goodness, thing? the internet is ridiculous. Yeah, that's what was the hold up, but they yes, got sir. that. It opened up Friday, and like I said, we'll remind everybody it's opened up seven days a week, and what are the hours again? The convenience side store, the gas station part is open from 5 to 10 weekdays, 5 to 12 on the weekends, Friday and Saturday, and the cafe will be open from 5 to 9. Okay, so the hurricane has arrived here. Hurricane is here. Hurricane's Cafe. Yes, sir. Hannah, always a pleasure. One of my all-time favorites. Congratulations Thank on you. going at 7. Wishing them the best. And like I said, I'm sure I'll see you at Hurricane's when you're oh, definitely. School. Yes, sir. Okay, thanks again. Thank Appreciate you. It. Again, we're a little just a bit of delay, but we should be getting started uh, shortly here, about five, ten minutes. Wayne County against Liberty, so if you're in the area, come on by and enjoy some varsity girls softball action here today. Wayne County against Liberty. Again, we'll be back with more right after the timeout. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lassie's Body Shop, family-owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lassie's Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rainier Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lassie's Body Shop. For over 60 years, Altamaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust, always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money, by updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe, and easy access to your account 24-7, the ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps. The security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. More community involvement and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by any time or visit us online at ultimaha.org and join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude towards service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. Stop by Southside Automotive for major and minor mechanical repairs. Diagnostic testing, tune-ups, oil changes, brakes. Southside Automotive is the place for quality repairs and prompt service. Make sure your AC is working its best for this hot summer. Joey says stop by today, we'll take care of you. If you want the best in automotive services, stop by Southside Automotive on 301 South in Chasm. Call 427-9653. That's 427-9653. Southside Automotive. Softball brought to you by Lighty's Body Shop and the Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Once again, in a little rain delay, but the Empire State, we're about ready to get this cranked up in about five minutes. In the meantime, we got Coach Craig Morris here to talk about the JV game. 19 8, I believe, was the final coach. Uh, your team played well against Liberty. Yeah, they did a good job. We were looking for them to hit the ball pretty well. Had uh, some good pitching that we could hit against this time around, and uh, the girls did real good. They responded. Uh, the, what we were really impressed with today is these JV girls were, were getting our signs and they were uh, going with the signs and doing what we were asking them to do. They, they ran the bases real smart today, and uh, we've been really working on that pretty hard. So uh, we're real pleased with what they did today. And hit the ball pretty well, too, top to bottom. Hit the ball real well. We got uh, we got all 12 girls in there, and every one of them got on base. So uh, we were pretty happy with that. You mentioned your pitching. Your pitching did pretty good today. Pitching did real well today. We threw our number three pitcher at them at the beginning, and uh, she did a really good job. I was real proud of her throwing strikes. Didn't walk very many and so until uh, the rain came. But uh, she did a real good job, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to what we've got this year. Okay, well, what's the projection for the season? Like, this is the future varsity team, so they've got a lot of talent come up. Who are some of the girls that are looking we, forward to moving on to the next level? We do. Madison um, is uh, Madison White is going to do a good job for us. We're looking forward to see what she's got. And uh, Presley Dean is 
uh, real athletic, and uh, to, she's, she's growing into her tall frame right now and starting to get some coordination with that. We're real proud of her, and so we're, we're looking forward to what some of these girls have to offer us in the future. Okay, Coach, I appreciate the update. 1980 keeps up to date. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the year. Appreciate it, Bob. Okay, no, again, that's the JV coach, Coach Morris. Again, the girls went easily in JV. 19-8 was the final. Again, the varsity about ready to get started here against the Liberty. We've got a four-year on Big Dog Country after 105.5. Should be back pretty soon with the first pitch right after this timeout. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lassie's Body Shop, family-owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lassie's Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rainier Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lassie's Body Shop. We're speaking with Al Bruger from Air Evac Life Team Base here in Jessup. Al, why should I be a member of Air Evac? Jim, life is full of dangerous possibilities, but you can gain financial security for your whole household for only $65 a year. In the event that you are transported as a member of the Air MedCare Network, Air Evac will work with your benefits provider to secure payment for your flight. Whatever your benefits provider pays will be considered payment in full for your flight. Call Al Gruber at 912 912- 202-0005. Remax agents do more from start to sold. They list, they show, they sell, they close. They help, they advise, they research, they guide. They do more from start to sold. That's the sign of a Remax agent. Visit Remax.com. Hi, I'm April Banks, broker owner of Remax Elite. Come see me or Gloria Overholt, Steve Dickens, Kristen Welch, or Peggy Hickey at 123 West Cherry Street, downtown Jessup. Or give us a call at 559-2142. That's 559-2142. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? An Interstate Credit Union will help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. It's game time, and the Yellow Jackets ready to take the field, and you can be ready, too, when you stop by Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop and purchase your Wayne County gear, shirts, sports hats, jackets, windbreakers, you name it, they've got it just for you to get ready for the game. Sheffield's has all types of sporting goods equipment to have your team looking their best for whatever sport may be, and they are your Under Armour gear headquarters in Wayne County. Sheffield says go Jackets and invite you to stop by, get what you need to wear to support your team. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, located at 1516 West Orange Street in Jessup. County Softball, brought to you by Robin Brockington Eubanks, your State Farm agent, and the Interstate Credit Union. Again, just minutes away from the first pitch as they're making their final preparations of the field. Again, had a heavy rain at the end of the JV game, and that's been the delay here, trying to get this field ready for the game today between Wayne County and Liberty County. Again, a non-region game this year, last year. It was a region game, but this year, not so. Again, Wayne County's region is Wayne County, Ware County, Statesburg, South Effingham, and New Hampstead. Those are the region games for Wayne County in all sports this year, including volleyball, as Wayne County's getting ready for their first year at girls' volleyball. So you got cross country, and their first run is the 20th of this month, the Brooklyn Peanut Run. And then football gets underway this Friday with a scrimmage at Thomas County Central. And then the opening game is the 26th at West Lawrence High School. And like I said, the first girls softball game is about to get underway in a matter of minutes here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. In case you missed Wayne County's lineup, Macy Palmer leads it off, followed by Summer Fry, Haley Dennison, Logan Eccles, Mary Tillman. Ashley Burkhalter, Mackenzie Price, Alyssa Giles, Gracie Fry, Shelby Sorensey in the lineup. Substitutes Chloe Lyons, Maggie Miller, Mary Grace Manning. Again, that's your roster for the Wayne County varsity girl softball team. So, again, looking at the roster, as we mentioned in the interviews during the 
season. Only one senior on this team. That's Summer Fry. Summer Fry has committed to Northwest Florida. She has a full ride after graduation. It's a two-year college down in Florida. And, again, we wish her nothing but the best of luck. But a full ride. Our congratulations to Summer Fry. Already committed. Already signed to play at Northwest Florida after graduation. The juniors on the team, Ashley Burkhalter, Mary Grace Manning, Mary Tillman, Haley Dennison, Gracie Fry, Shelby Cernsey, sophomores Macy Palmer, Maggie Miller, Logan Eccles, Mackenzie Price, and Chloe Lyons. And, again, one freshman on the team, Alyssa Giles. And, again, she's in the starting line today and playing the right field. The team manager is Kendale West, a senior. And, again, that makes up your roster here for the varsity girls softball team. Again, the coaches are meeting at home plate. That's always a good sign. It means we're just minutes away from the first pitch. Taking the mound today for Wayne County will be Mary Tillman. Mary Tillman gets to start. Again, she's a junior, wears number eight. And she will be on the mind in game one of the season here for Wayne County against Liberty County. Again, a busy week of softball. The girls are on the road tomorrow in Pierce County. Then on Friday at Bacon County, back home Tuesday the 16th to take on Richmond Hill. That will be our next broadcast Tuesday, August 16th at 6 p.m. Wayne County against Richmond Hill. Again, hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Glad you're with us here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. Join the Braves as soon as this game is over. The Braves will start on AM 1370, taking on Milwaukee tonight, a four-game set, and then they head to Washington for the weekend. Atlanta Braves baseball will be joined in progress here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. It really shouldn't miss much here. Again, the game's going to get underway shortly and should be over probably about the first time for first pitcher Braves baseball. I believe the game tonight in Milwaukee starts at 8 o'clock, so should be close to start time here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. Again, Wayne County, girls, varsity softball. Again, we want to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here to bring you this live play-by-play action. The sponsors, once again, for Varsity Girls Softball, Lightsy Body Shop, Altamont Federal Credit Union, Southside Automotive, Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shops, Robin Brockington, your State Farm Agent, Interstate Credit Union, Remax, Aravac, and our post-game show sponsor, Sean O'Quinn, your country financial agent. So we are just minutes away from the first pitch. As you can hear, Steve McGregor introducing the starting lineups here shortly. But, again, we're going to send it back for some commercial messages and be right back for the first pitch. Wayne County, Liberty County, coming your way next here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than admit they probably don't have enough. That's why me, Robin Eubanks, focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually live on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house. The answer, insurance. Or life without having to give up college. The answer, insurance. Find out how the benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. Call me today, 427-6008, and put the life back in life insurance. We're speaking with Al Bruber from Air Evac Life Team Base here in Jessup. Al, why should I be a member of Air Evac? Jim, life is full of dangerous possibilities, but you can gain financial security for your whole household for only $65 a year. In the event that you are transported as a member of the Air MedCare Network, Air Evac will work with your benefits provider to secure payment for your flight. Whatever your benefits provider pays will be considered payment in full for your flight. Call Al Gruber at 912-202-0005. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lightsy's Body Shop, family owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lightsy's Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rainier Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lassie's Body Shop. Wayne County Softball brought to you by Robin Brockington Eubanks, your State Farm agent and the Interstate Credit Union. Public address announcer Steve McGregor introducing the girls' softball team. We'll let you listen in. Wayne Kenny, lead-off batter will be number seven, second baseman Macy Palmer. Batting second, number five, center pillar Summer Fry. Batting third, number 11, first baseman Haley Dennison. Batting fifth, number 13, first off, Logan Eccles. Batting fifth, number eight, Mr. Mary Tillman. Batting six, number two, the left field, Ashley Burkhalter. Batting seventh, number 21, 
Dr. Mackenzie Price. Batting eight, number 23, right there, Alyssa Dow. And batting ninth, designated player, Gracie Fry. Left for be number 16, Shelby Cernsey. Manager is Kendall West. And coach eight, manager is by Jason O'Sheen, Trey Marks, Coach Scott. As this up, we ask you please rise for the play of our national anthem. playing the National Anthem here just minutes away from the first pitch. Let's take a quick break, come back with the first pitch of today's game. Wayne County Liberty coming your way next here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. For over 60 years, Ultimaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust, always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money, by updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe and easy access to your account 24-7. The ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps. The security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. More community involvement and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by any time or visit us online at ultimaha.org. And join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude towards service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. Stop by Southside Automotive for major and minor mechanical repairs. Diagnostic testing, tune-ups, oil changes, brakes. Southside Automotive is the place for quality repairs and prompt service. Make sure your AC is working its best for this hot summer. Joey says stop by today, we'll take care of you. If you want the best in automotive services, stop by Southside Automotive on 301 South in Chessel. Call 427-9653. That's 427-9653. Southside Automotive. It's game time, and the Yellow Jackets ready to take the field, and you can be ready, too, when you stop by Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop and purchase your Wayne County gear, shirts, sports hats, jackets, windbreakers, you name it, they've got it, just for you to get ready for the game. Sheffield's has all types of sporting goods equipment to have your team looking their best for whatever sport may be, and they are your Under Armour gear headquarters in Wayne County. Sheffield says go Jackets, and if I should stop by, get what you need to wear to support your team. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, located 1516 West Orange Street in Jessup. County Softball, brought to you by Lighty's Body Shop and the Ultima Federal Credit Union. Welcome back. We're set for game one of the 2016 season. Wayne County taking on Liberty County here today. And again, the pitcher on the mound for Wayne County is Mary Tillman. Shelby Cernsey at third base, shortstop Logan Eccles, second baseman Macy Palmer, first baseman Haley Dennison. Behind the plate, Mackenzie Price. Right fielder, Alyssa Giles, the freshman. Center fielder, the senior, Summer Fry. And left fielder, Ashley Burkhalter. Here we go. We're about to get underway. A little bit of rain delay, but the game is about to begin. Wayne County and Liberty, glad you're with us here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Tillman's first pitch in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Mary Tillman 
on the mound for Wayne County. The wine and the pitch. And for strike two, no balls and two strikes. Milana Davis, the leadoff batter for Liberty County, the pitcher. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. She struck her out. One up, one down in the first for Liberty County. Good start for the junior pitcher, Mary Tillman. The third baseman, Alexis Barnes, comes to the plate for Liberty. Right-handed batter. Good crowd for game one after the rain delay. Again, it looks like the rain is gone for the afternoon here at the ballpark. So should, should be able to roll this game through here today. Wayne County Liberty. Again, congrats to Miguel Vail, or hats off to Miguel Vail and his staff for getting the field ready after the rain delay. Good to have a good maintenance crew. And again, Wayne County is blessed with talented people that know what they're doing. One ball, one strike, one out. Alexis Barnes, the batter, Mary Tillman's 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And it's in for a strike, one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Nobody aboard, top of the first. Wayne County, Liberty County here at the Barber Strike Off softball field. Tremendous crowd here for game one. A one-two pitch, swing and a miss. She struck her eye. Two up, two down for Mary Tillman. Good start for the junior pitcher in game one here. Here's Madison Wynn. Batting number 16, third baseman Madison Wynn. Madison Wynn steps to the plate. Two up, two down, both by the strikeout right here. Wayne County and Liberty. The line, the pitch, swing, and a miss, strike one. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, two outs. No score, top of the first. The pitch, swing, and a pop-up to third baseman Shelby Cerncy, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. A half inning in the book in game one, your score. Liberty zero, and Wayne County coming to back. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than admit they probably don't have enough. That's why me, Robin Eubanks, focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually live on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house. The answer, insurance. Or life without having to give up college. The answer, insurance. Find out how the benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. Call me today, 427-6008, and put the life back in life insurance. Interstate Credit Union has affordable loans for your lifestyle. Whatever the need may be, their low-rate loans will help you discover just how much life is easier when you can pay less for it each month. Find out how quick and simple it is to stop paying more for life. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org for an affordable way to get the cash you need. Apply today. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA and Equal Housing Lender. NMLS number 40859. Wayne County Softball brought to you by Robin Brockett and Eubanks, your state farm agent and the Interstate Credit Union. Bottom of the first, Macy Palmer, Summer Fry, Haley Dennison, top three hitters for Wayne County here in the bottom of the first. Logan Eccles in the cleanup spot, and she'll be followed by Mary Tillman, Ashley Burkhalter, Mackenzie Price, Alyssa Giles, and Gracie Fry. Davis, the pitcher for Liberty. Again, Wayne County and Liberty here, game one of the 2016 season. So Macy Palmer steps in, leadoff batter for Wayne County here in the bottom of inning number one. We'll see if Wayne County get off to a good start here in the bottom of the first inning. Here's the wine and the pitch to Macy Palmer. Palmer hits a pop-up, and the center fielder comes in and makes the catch for out number one. One up, one down. Here's Summer Fry, senior, again, going to Northwest Florida after graduation. Again, Summer's the senior, the leader. Again, she's the leader of this team, and we'll see how the team does under her leadership again. 
a lot of pressure as the lone senior, but a very talented group around her. I mean, just a very talented softball player for Wayne County High School. And here's the wine and the pitch. And it's down low. Ball to 2-0. Two oh. Question is, will they pitch to her much this season? Yeah, and she could see a lot of walks. Two balls and no strikes. One out. There's the wine and the pitch. And it's down low. Ball three. Three and out. Oh. Good news is she's got that scholarship to Northwest Whitfield. I was joking with Freddie Fry, her grandfather. I said, all that money you saved all those years at the radio station, now you can go on a cruise because Summer's got a full ride just Northwest Florida. 3-0 pitch, and it's outside, ball four. So Summer walks on four pitches here in the bottom of the first. Doesn't see anything to hit. Here brings up Haley Dennison. Haley Dennison. Haley Dennis, another one of the juniors. Again, it's a good junior cr- class here for the girls' team with Burke Halter, Mary Grace Manning, Mary Tillman, Haley Dennison, Gracie Fry, Shelby Cerency. And you got a good sophomore class and Macy Palmer, Maggie Miller, Logan Eccles, and Mackenzie Price, and Chloe Lyons. And again, the one lone freshman, Alyssa Giles. That's your Wayne County roster here in 2016. Again, Wayne County... Down here, bottom of first. The pitch is down low, gets by, and Summer Fry will hit the second base. And now they say Haley was hit by a pitch, so it's a dead ball, and runners will hit the first and second. And here's Logan Eccles, shortstop in this ball game. Again, we'll see her behind the plate, different positions, very talented player, and Logan Eccles. The pitch, and that ball gets by, and the runners will move up to second and third. So Wayne County quickly with runners in scoring position here in the bottom of the first inning, looking to take an early lead. Logan Eccles at the plate. No ball, one strike count to her. Mary Tillman, the pitcher on deck. Here's the wind of the pitch. Grounded foul. And the count, no balls and two strikes to Logan Eccles. Appreciate Hannah Twilley joining us on the pregame show. Again, talking about her year coming up at Georgia Southern. Also, Hurricanes Convenience Store now open out there on Hanson Mosey Road, owned by the Twilley family. The pitch, and it's down low, ball one, one and two. One ball, two strikes to Logan Eccles. Mary Tillman on deck and then Ashley Burkhalter. Just underway, bottom of the first. Again, a little delay due to the rain. But sunshine skies above us. Beautiful sky. And just a beautiful afternoon for girls softball. The one-two pitch. Line, left field, but foul. And it stays one and two. One ball, two strikes to Logan Eccles, one out. Still scoreless, but Wayne threatening with runners at second and third, one down. And cleanup hitter Logan Eccles at the plate for Wayne County. Davis, the pitcher for Liberty, stares in. Ready with the one-two pitch. Fly ball, left field, pretty well hit, and dropped in left field. Two runs are going to score. Logan's on her way to second, and she'll hold there. And Wayne County leads it by a score of two to zero on a ball dropped down the outfield. It'll go as an air and left. So Wayne County jumps out to two nothing advantage here. And here's Mary Tillman. Tillman, the pitcher. 2 nothing Wayne County. Pitch is in for a strike. No balls, one strike. On deck, Ashley Burkhalter. No balls, one strike. The pitch popped up foul and out of play. No balls, two strikes. 0-2 oh to the pitcher, Mary Tillman. The 
the 0-2 pitch on the way. Grounded foul. It remains 0-2. And there it appears tomorrow and bacon on Friday and then back home Tuesday, a week from tomorrow, against Richmond Hill. That'll be our next broadcast Tuesday, August. Let's see what date that is. There's a ball hit in the left field for a base hit. And Wayne County has Logan Echo stop at third. It'll be August 16th on Tuesday against Richmond Hill. So Tillman with the base hit. Logan Eckles at third. And here's Ashley Burkhalter. Got to get a courtesy runner for the pitcher. And Chloe Lyons will run at first base for the pitcher. Courtesy runner. The pitcher number 29, Chloe Lyon. And number two, left fielder Ashley Burkhalter. So Ashley Burkhalter steps to the plate. There's the line and the pitch. Round ball, right side, base hit. Logan Eccles will score, runner coming to third, and she's safe, and down to second base will do Ashley Burkhalter. Good hustle by Ashley. Makes it a 3 nothing ball game. And runners at second and third. And that brings up Mackenzie Price. Number 21, Mr. McKenzie Price. The scoreboard's got 2-0, but the source should be 3-0. Three, Three runs have scored thus far. Summer Fry, Haley Dennis, and Logan Eccles have all scored. There's the pitch in for a strike. No balls at one strike to McKenzie Price. Everybody can tell me the score. Alyssa Giles. On deck. Here's the pitch. It's way up high, and a run will score and makes it a 4 nothing ball game. With a runner at third for McKenzie Price. Wayne County 4, Liberty 0 here in the bottom of the first inning. Here's the wine and the pitch. Ground ball foul past third. Wayne County four, Liberty zero here in the bottom of the first inning. Again, Mackenzie Price at the plate for Wayne County. Here's the pitch. And it's down low in the dirt. Ball two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Four nothing game. Wayne County here in the bottom of the first inning. Here's the pitch. Fly ball, left field, and a run will score. The ball is caught in the outfield, but it's a sacrifice fly RBI. And it brings in Ashley Burkhalter to make it a 5 nothing ball game. Here's Alyssa Giles, the freshman for Wayne County, left-handed batter. Steps to the plate. Here's the wine and the pitch. A pie, ball one. One and up. On deck, Gracie Fry. Two outs, nobody on the pitch. Popped up, down in foul territory, and out of play. One ball, one strike to Alyssa Giles, freshman for Wayne County, and getting started in the right field today in game one. Gracie Fry, the designated player on deck, and then the top of the Macy Palmer. Again, Shelby Sarnes, the flex player, does not bat in the lineup. Here's the wine and the pitch. 
And for strike, one and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Wayne County, five runs here in the bottom of the first inning. Good start to the season. Here's the wine and the one-two pitch. And a dial low in the dirt. Ball two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 5-0 game. Wayne County off to a great start here at the first game of the 2016 season at the Barber Struck Off softball field. Again, good crowd here for game one. Two balls, two strikes to Alyssa Giles. The wide and the pitch. Call, strike three. Inning comes to an end. In the inning, though, Wayne County picks up a five spot on two hits. One air and nobody left on base. We got one in the book in the first game of the season. Wayne County Liberty, your score. Wayne County 5, Liberty 0. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. What? Do you think the State Farm jingle really works? Like for real? Like if you sing the jingle, will your agent actually appear and help you out? Yeah. Of course it works. I saw it on the internet. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. That's your agent. Oh, I'm next. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a giant stuffed panda bear. Call me today, State Farm agent Robin Eubanks, 427-6008. And we wish the Lady Yellow Jackets a wonderful year. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. Wayne County Softball on WIFO brought to you by Remax Real Estate and Arivac. Four, five, and six to face Mary Tillman. Mary Tillman with an easy one, two, three inning, two strikeouts, and a pop out to third baseman Shelby Sorensen in top of the first inning where you have got through one. It's a five of the game in favor of Wayne County. Again, just a gorgeous day now for softball. And if you're in the area, come on by and join us here at the Barber Struck Off Softball Field. Mary Tillman set for inning number two. Here she goes. The pitch, swing, and a missed strike one. And pitching's going to be a strong suit, they tell us, for Wayne County softball. Dave Madger very pleased with his pitching rotation. And this junior, Mary Tillman, can bring it up there pretty good. Here's the wide and the pitch, swing, and a missed strike two. No balls, two strikes. And anybody that follows girls softball, it's all about that pitcher and the catcher. Got a lot of button goes on in softball, so you got to be quick as a cat behind the plate. But pitching is the key, and Mary Tillman so far has shown great form here. There's another strikeout, so she struck out three of the first four batters here in this game against Liberty County. Here comes Anderson, the center fielder. Tia Anderson for Liberty County. One up, one down in the second. Wayne County again defensively, McKenzie Price behind the plate. First base, Haley Dennison. Second base, Macy Palmer. Third baseman, Shelby Cernsey. Shortstop, Logan Eccles. Swing and a miss, strike one. Center field, senior Summer Fry. Right field, freshman Alyssa Giles. And the left fielder is Ashley Burkhalter. A junior for Wayne County. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes, one out. Wayne County, five, Liberty, zero here, top of the second. Mary's ready, the pitch, swing and a miss, and she struck out another Liberty County batter. Four of the first five, down by strikeouts. Blitch, the batter for Liberty. So Mary Tillman wasting little time. Three up, three down in the first. Looking for a three up, three down here in the second. Wayne County with a five-run first against Liberty. Mary Tillman setting ready. Here's the wine and the pitch. And that ball was hit right to the shortstop. Logan Eccles, who makes the catch for out number three. In the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. We have played an inning and a half at the Barbershop Golf Softball Field Game 1 of the 2016 season. Score reads Wayne County 5, Liberty 0.
For over 60 years, Ultimaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust, always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money, by updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe, and easy access to your account 24-7, the ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps. The security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. More community involvement and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by any time or visit us online at ultimaha.org. And join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude towards service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. This is Wayne County Softball on WIFO FM Jessup. Bottom second, Gracie Fry going to lead off for Wayne County, designated player for the Yellow Jackets. Gracie, the younger sister of Summer Fry. So Gracie, her first at bat here in the 2016 season. And the pitch way up high, ball one. One and oh. Olympics continue out in Rio, USA, 14 gold medals thus far, leading the hit parade. So, again, interested to watch the games. Got to see some girls volleyball today, USA and Netherlands. That was fun. Pitches up high, ball two. Looking forward to Wayne County volleyball this year. And first year ever for Wayne County High School. But Kayla Hobbs is coaching that team, so... Keep you up to date with that team as well. Here's the pitch. And for a strike. Two balls, one strike. On deck, Macy Palmer, then Summer Fry. Anybody gets aboard, Haley Dennison. Bottom of the second, Wayne County 5, Liberty 0. Here's the 2-1 to Gracie. Gracie pops it up. Second baseman can't make the play. It's overhead. And it drops in for a base hit. CNI single for Gracie Fry. As it finds the hole between second base and center field. So leadoff single for Gracie. Here comes the top of the order, and Macy Palmer flat out to center field her first time up. Summer Fry on deck, and then Haley Dennison. Wayne County 5, Liberty 0, looking to build on the lead. Macy squares the bunt and gets a piece of it, foul ball. No balls, one strike to Macy Palmer. Summer Fry on deck. Again, full ride to Northwest Florida. Again, our congratulations to her on that scholarship as she will head there after graduation. Here's the wine and the pitch and another bunt, and it rolls foul down the third base line. So Macy will come back. No balls and two strikes. So again, with the... Leadoff man on. Coach Madger trying to play, move the runner over. But Macy's fast enough. She can beat it out for base hit if she lays it down in a good spot. See if they take the bunt off with two strikes. Here's the pitch up high. Runners going second base. Throw down is not in time. Stolen base for Gracie Fry. So Gracie with the first stolen base of the year for Wayne County. Comes here in the second. Nobody out. Runner at second. Five nothing Wayne County. Macy Palmer lead off batter at the plate. Here's the pitch to her. And it's down low. Gets by the catcher. Gracie comes to third. to Macy Palmer. Here's the wine, the pitch. Popped up infield. Shortstop calls for it, and there's two away. Two down. Here's Summer Fry. Summer walked on four pitches her first time up. I'm up. Let's see if she gets anything to hit this time. Summer fly at the plate. Here's the wine and the pitch. 
And it's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Five nothing your score here in the bottom of the second inning. Here's the pitch. Fly ball, center field, center fielder is there, makes the catch. Runner ties, but does not come home. Two down. So it'll take a two-out hit or a wild pitch to bring in the runner third. Here's Haley Dennison. Haley hit by a pitch her first time up. Haley Dennison. Logan Eccles on deck. Haley Dennison at the plate. Here's the line of the pitch. In for a strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, two outs. 5-0 Wayne County here in the bottom of the second inning. Here's the pitch. It's down low, ball one, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. The one-one pitch. Way up high, gets away. Here comes Gracie Fry, and she will score. And Wayne County leads it by a score of six to nothing here in the second inning. So Gracie scores. Two balls, one strike count to Haley Dennison with Logan Eccles on deck. Wayne County six, Liberty County zero here in the bottom inning number two. Here's the wind and the pitch. That's grounded foul. Count two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the wind and the two two pitch. Line left field in for a hit. Haley with the base hit to left field for Wayne County. And it brings up Logan Eccles. Logan came home to score in the first inning. A couple of runs scored on a ball she hit the left field. Left fielder misplayed it. Here's the line, the pitch. And first strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike. Two eyes. One run in, six nothing Wayne County. Here's the wind and the pitch. It's down low. Ball gets away. Runner hits the second base, and Haley gets in the second base safely. One ball, one strike. Two outs, six nothing Wayne County. The pitch, ground ball hit the third, foul. The umpire says, and it counts one ball, two strikes. One and two to Logan Eccles. A little shower behind us here. Looking to the right, got a pretty rainbow. The pitch, ground ball, base hit center field. Runner coming around third, gonna be held up. And Wayne County's got runners at the corners here in the second inning. Logan with a solid base at the center field. That brings up Mary Tillman. So the rain has returned here, the little shower behind us. Here's Mary Tillman to play. Here's the wine and the pitch. It's down low. Runner hits the second base, and she reaches safely. Logan Eccles does. Here's the wind, the pitch. And it gets by. Umpire trying to get out of the way. Catcher trying to find the ball. One ball, one strike. Runners at second and third for Wayne County. Two down for Mary Tillman, the pitcher. 
is way up high. Ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike, two eyes. Bottom of the second, Wayne County six, Liberty County zero. The wind, the pitch, up high, ball three, three and one. Three balls, one strike, Ashley Burkhalter on deck. Six nothing, Wayne County. The pitch inside, ball four, and the bases are loaded. For Ashley Burkhalter. Junior left fielder, Wayne County is Ashley Burkhalter steps to the plate. Six nothing, Yellow Jackets. Bottom of the second, chance to bust it wide open. Mackenzie Price on deck. Takes a two out hit here to get some runs. Here's the pitch. Way up high, gets by the catcher. A run's going to score. And it's a 7 nothing ball game. As Haley Dennison comes home to score. Runners at second and third. Two down for Ashley Burkhalter. Here's the wind, the pitch. Line, base hit. One run in. Waving a second run home. She will score. And Wayne County leads it by a score of nine to zero here in the second inning. So Ashley Burkhalter delivers a two run single. Here's Mackenzie Price, sacrifice fly RBI, her first time up. So Wayne County, nine, Liberty County, zero, here in the bottom of the second inning. Five runs in the first four thus far here in the second with the runner at first base for Mackenzie Price. Squares the bunt, pulls back. It's up high, ball one, one and oh. Time called as the Liberty County coach wants to go talk to his pitcher. Not sure if he's going to make a change or just talk strategy. Game is pretty much over in favor of Wayne County 9 zip. Just a matter of what the final score is going to be. Nine zero Wayne County. Don't believe this game will ever see seven innings. Long discussion by the infield. And again, you're going to stick with this pitcher. And back to the plate goes Mackenzie Price. Wayne 9, Liberty 0, bottom of the second inning. Mackenzie Price bats. Alyssa Giles on deck. There's the pitch. It's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, two outs. The pitch in for a strike. Nine-zero ball game in favor of Wayne County. Runner first two down for Mackenzie Price at the plate. Way up high, it's a full count. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Nine, nothing Wayne County. Mackenzie Price, the wind, the pitch, popped her up. Down the left field line. Anybody going to make the play? Nope. 
is going to drop in. And down to second base will go McKenzie. Runner comes to third. Another misplayed ball in the outfield. That brings up Alyssa Giles, the freshman. And number 23, right there, Alyssa Giles. Got caught looking her first time up. You're going to get a courtesy runner, number 12, for the catcher. So Maggie Miller will run at second base for Wayne County. So Alyssa Giles bats here with the runners at second and third in a 9 nothing ball game here in the bottom of the second inning. Wayne County batting. And they get the courtesy runner at second base. So here's Giles. Giles steps in. Got caught looking on a high pitch first time up. This ball's up high, gets by the catcher, run comes home, and it makes it a 10 nothing ball game. Another wild pitch by Liberty. Wayne County 10, Liberty 0 here in the second inning. One ball, no strikes to Alyssa Giles. Runner at third base for Wayne County. Here's the wind and the pitch. Fly ball. Center field. Center fielder says she's got it. She does. And that ends the inning. But in the inning, another productive one for Wayne County. Five more runs for Wayne County. Four hits, one error, and one man left on base. We have played two in game one. Your score reads Wayne County 10, Liberty County 0. Stop by Southside Automotive for major and minor mechanical repairs. Diagnostic testing, tune-ups, oil changes, brakes. Southside Automotive is the place for quality repairs and prompt service. Make sure your AC is working its best for this hot summer. Joey says stop by today, we'll take care of you. If you want the best of automotive services, stop by Southside Automotive on 301 South in Jessup. Call 427-9653. That's 427-9653. Southside Automotive. It's game time, and the Yellow Jackets are ready to take the field, and you can be ready, too, when you stop by Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop and purchase your Wayne County gear, shirts, sports hats, jackets, windbreakers, you name it, they've got it just for you to get ready for the game. Sheffield's has all types of sporting goods equipment to have your team looking their best for whatever your sport may be, and they are your Under Armour gear headquarters in Wayne County. Sheffield says go Jackets and invite you to stop by, get what you need to wear to support your team. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, located at 1516 West Orange Street in Jessup. This is Wayne County Softball on WIFO FM Jessup. Head to the third inning, top half. Wayne County's going to change pitchers. Haley Dennison come to the mound for Wayne County. So Haley will pitch another junior for Wayne County. Let's see what other changes they made in the lineup. And still Shelby at third, Logan at short, Macy at second. And it was Sid Giles now at first base for Wayne County. Out in the right field is Maggie Miller. Summer Fry still in center field. And there's a ground ball hit second. Macy's got it, throws to first in time. And there's one up, one down in third for Liberty County. Mackenzie Price still behind the plate for Wayne County. So, again, Wayne County pitching just dominating here this afternoon. Mary Tillman struck out four of the six batters she's faced. Haley Dennison gets the first batter out here on a ground ball to second. Pitches down low, ball one. Haley started the game at first base and now moves to pitcher. Here's the pitch. And there's a ball, base hit, right field. First hit of the day for Liberty County. Maggie Miller gets it in quickly. And there's a runner on for Liberty County here in the third. Edwards, the left fielder, steps in forward Liberty. Kerry Edwards, the pitch. The pie ball one, one and up. Oh. Here's the pitch. 
swung on and foul straight back. One ball and one strike. Wayne County 10, Liberty County 0 here in the top of the third inning. Game scheduled for seven, but don't believe we're going to make seven innings in this game. The runner is going to definitely be in play here. Here's the pitch. Swung on and foul back. And it's one and two. Edwards. And going to join the Braves as soon as this game's over. And after the post-game show, sponsored by Sean O'Quinn, your country financial agent. Again, appreciate everybody sponsoring the girls' softball this year. Wayne County Softball. And if you'd like to be a part of the football package, give us a call. We're still selling that. Only a few spots left. So if you want in, give us a call. Great package. You get Georgia, I'm sorry, you get Georgia Tech, Georgia Southern, Wayne County, Jacksonville Jaguars, Atlanta Falcons, and Georgia Southern. You get six teams for the price of one. It adds all through the week. Here's the one two pitch. Ground ball hit the first base. First baseman steps on the bag for the second out. Runner has done second base. Two, out, two outs in the inning. Runner at second for Liberty County. And she'll bring the top of the order up in the pitcher, Davis. Melina Davis going to bat. Two down in the inning. 10 nothing ball game. Wayne County with the lead. Haley ready the pitch, and it's in for strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, two eyes. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike two, 0-2. Oh two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's the wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck her out, and the inning comes to an end. In the inning, no runs, one hit, no errors. One man left on base with play two and a half. Your score reads Wayne County 10, Liberty 0. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than admit they probably don't have enough. That's why me, Robin Eubanks, focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually live on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house. The answer, insurance. Or life without having to give up college. The answer, insurance. Find out how the benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. Call me today, 427-6008, and put the life back in life insurance. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at iufcu.org to find out how to make checking work for you at Interstate Credit Union. Branches in Jessup, Baxley, Midway, and Hazelhurst. Federally insured by NCUA. Wayne County Softball brought to you by Robin Brockington Eubanks, your State Farm agent, and the Interstate Credit Union. Head to the bottom half of the third inning. Wayne County leads it by a score of 10 to 0. And leading off for Wayne County will be number 14, Gracie Fry. Gracie led off the second, and Wayne County went on to score five runs in that inning as Gracie led off with a base hit. A CNI single, and now Liberty County's changed pitchers here to start the bottom half of the third inning. Wayne County 10, Liberty County 0. Again, the girls head to Pierce County tomorrow to take on the Lady Bears. And then on the road Friday to take on Bacon County. And then Tuesday back at home to take on Richmond Hill. Have that game for you here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Going to have, have all the girls' home games here except for the Saturday game. On the 24th of September, not able to bring you that one due to conflict with college football. But all the other games during the week will bring it to you. There's a line drive base hit for Gracie Fry. So Gracie's two for two for Wayne County. Lead off batter on for Wayne County here in the bottom half of the third inning. Brings up Macy Palmer, sophomore for Wayne County. Second baseman, fly out to center, popped out to short. Summer Fry on deck and then Haley Dennison. Wayne County 10, Liberty County 0 here in the bottom half of inning number 3. 
Here's the wind, the pitch. And there's a bunt in front of the plate. Throw to first, not in time. Macy beats it out. Infield hit. And Wayne County's got runners at first and second. Here's Summer Fry looking for her first hit. She was walked on four pitches in the first and flied out the center in the second. Wayne County 10, Liberty County 0. Here's the wine in the pitch, and it's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Is down low. Ball one. One and one. Here's the wind, the pitch, the line, base hit down in the corner. Going to score some runs. One run in. Macy's coming around third. She's going to score. Summer Fry's on her way to third. They're thinking about inside the park home run. Nope, they're going to hold her at third base with a triple. And Summer drives in two more, and Wayne County leads it by a score of 12 to nothing. Summer Fry drills it down in the right field corner for a triple. That was close to being inside the park home run. Here's Haley Dennison. Haley, one for one on the day. Base hit back in the second run scored. Was hit by a pitch in the first and scored now pitching for Wayne County. 12-0 your score here in the bottom half of the third inning. There's the wind and the pitch. Fly ball, well hit. Left fielder back at the fence and makes the catch at the fence. Runner tags at third and scores. And it's a long sacrifice fly RBI to make it a 13-0 ball game. Wayne County 13 to nothing. Here's Logan Eccles. Logan Eccles bats. Here's the wind, the pitch to her. And for a strike. No balls, one strike. And first broadcast of the year, 2016 girls softball. Again, thanks to our sponsors for Live Leader bringing this live play by play action. And again, they'll be with us all season long. Again, I want to thank their sponsors again for allowing us to be here to bring this live play-by-play action. And our sponsors this year for Lady of Lizica Softball, White Seat Body Shop, Altam Hall Federal Credit Union, Southside Automotive, Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, Robin Brockington, your state farm agent, Interstate Credit Union, Remax, Aravac, and our post-game show sponsored by Sean O'Quinn, your country financial agent. So, again, I want to thank all those sponsors for being here all season long on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5 for Lady Yellow Jacket Softball. 13-0 your score here. Wayne Kenny still batting here in the bottom half of inning number three. And, again, at the plate is Wayne County's Logan Eccles. Shortstop today. We'll see her behind the plate later in the season. 13-0 your score here with one out. And nobody on base. 13 runs on 10 hits for Wayne County. No runs, one hit for Liberty County as we bat here in the bottom half of inning number three. Here's the wide and the pitch. And it's down low, and Logan Eccles draws a walk. Here's Maggie Miller. Maggie Miller gets her first at bat here in the 2016 season. Here's the wind, the pitch, and it's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. On deck, Ashley Burkhalter. No balls, one strike, one out. The pitch, line, center field, base hit. Runners at first and second as Maggie Miller gets a line drive base hit for Wayne County. The runners at first and second. Here's Ashley Burkhalter. Again, stay tuned for the Country Financial Post Game Show sponsored by Sean O'Quinn. 
talk to some players, talk to Coach Dave Madry, get his thoughts on the big win here today. And just the final score is the only thing in jeopardy. There's a fly ball deep to left field, but foul. 13-0 here in the third inning. And Wayne County just rolling here against Liberty County here in game number one. Total mismatch here this afternoon. Here's the wide and the 0-1 pitch. And first strike, 0-1-2. No balls, two strikes, one out. Here's the wide, the pitch, line, five on. Thirteen nothing ball game. Wayne County with the lead. Runners at first and second, one out. Still batting. Ashley Burkhall to the plate. Here's the pitch. Swung on and fouled out of play. No balls and two strikes to Ashley Burkhalter. Mackenzie Price on deck. Wayne County 13, Liberty County 0. Five in the first, five in the second, three thus far here in the third. Here's the wind and the pitch. Grounded foul. No balls, two strikes. No balls, two strikes. Here's the one and the O2 pitch. Grounded foul again. Wayne County, 13. Liberty County is zero here at the Barber Struck Off softball field. 0 2 count. The Ashley Burkhalter, Mackenzie Price on deck. Runners at first and second, one down. 13 0, the score. Wayne County in command here at the Barber Struck Off softball field. Ashley Burkhalter steps back in. Here's the 0-2 pitch to her. And did she get a piece of it? No, she missed it. Swing, strike three. So two down in the inning. Ashley Burkhalter down on strikes. That brings up Mackenzie Price. Sacrifice fly RBI in the first and reached on an air in the second. 13 0 your score here in the bottom half of the third inning. Here's the wine and the pitch. Down low, ball one. One and oh. One ball, no strikes, two outs. 13 0 score. Wayne County in command here. Here's the pitch. And there's a ball hit in the left field for a base hit. And the bases are loaded for Wayne County. Brings up Alyssa Giles. So Alyssa Giles steps in. She's 0 for 2. Struck out in the first looking and flying out the center her second time up. And the lone freshman on the team, Alyssa Giles, she can find her first hit. Driving some runs. Base is loaded here in the third. The pitch. Down low. Ball one. One and oh. One ball. No strikes. Wayne 13. Liberty zero. Third in action. Bottom half. Here's the wind. The pitch. That's way up high. Ball two. Two and oh.
Here's the wine and the pitch. There's down low, ball three, three and oh. Gracie Fry on deck, she's two for two. Here's the 3 0 pitch. And for a strike, three and one. Does she take another? I believe she does here. Three balls, one strike, two outs. 13 nothing ball game. The pitch a pod, ball four, and a runner is in for Wayne County to make it a 14 nothing ball game. Fourteen nothing Wayne County. Wayne County's bad to ride. Here's Gracie Fry. Two for two on the day with two singles. Fourteen zero score. Here's the pitch. And it's down low. Ball one. One and oh. Top the order on deck and Macy Palmer. Fourteen zero Wayne County. Fourteen runs, twelve hits for Wayne County. No runs, one hit for Liberty. Here's the one oh pitch. And it's down low, ball two, two and out. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Wayne, 14, Liberty, zero. Bases loaded, two down. The pitch to Gracie, in for a strike, two and one. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Wayne, 14, Liberty, zero. The wind, the pitch, swing and a miss on the ball in the dirt, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Wayne, 14, Liberty, zero. Two-two pitch to Gracie Fry. Grounded foul by the dugout. And it stays 2-2. Get next broadcast a week from Tuesday, the 16th of August. Tomorrow, the school board meets for a work session at 6 p.m. Getting GBI in charge of the investigation of the death of the prison. Autopsy being performed. Again, that'll take a while. There's a ball popped up, foul out of play, and the state fire marshal's office in to investigate the fire at the church. Most believe it's electrical, but again, the state fire marshal would determine the exact cause. But again, the Pentecostal church burnt yesterday afternoon. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 14 0 game. The pitch to Gracie, a pie, ball three, three and two. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. The 3 2 pitch. Ground ball, base hit down the corner. One run in, two runs in, and a runner headed to third. And it makes it a 16 0 ball game. 16 0 Wayne County. And that is your ball game. So Wayne County wins it in three innings. 16 nothing. your score, 16 runs on 13 hits. No errors for Wayne County, no runs, one hit, one error for Liberty. We'll be back with the Country Financial Post Game Show. Stay with us here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. Jackets win in three, final score, 15-0. agents do more from start to sold. They list, they show, they sell, they close. They help, they advise, they research, they guide. They do more from start to sold. That's the sign of a REMAX agent. Visit REMAX.com. Hi, I'm April Banks, broker owner of REMAX Elite. Come see me or Gloria Overholt, Steve Dickens, Kristen Welch, or Peggy Hickey at 123 West Cherry Street, downtown Jessup. Or give us a call at 559-2142. That's 559-2142. We're speaking with Al Groover from Air Evac Life Team Base here in Jessup. Al, why should I be a member of Air Evac? Jim, life is full of dangerous possibilities, but you can gain financial security for your whole household for only $65 a year. 
In the event that you are transported as a member of the Air MedCare network, Air Evac will work with your benefits provider to secure payment for your flight. Whatever your benefits provider pays will be considered payment in full for your flight. Call Al Gruber at 912-202-0005. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lysis Body Shop, family-owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lysis Body Shop, where everybody is somebody. Call us today. Let us take the stress away. We are located at 1526 Rainier Road, just past the dollar store. Give us a call at 385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lysis Body Shop. For over 60 years, Altamaha Federal Credit Union has been a part of our community. Folks you know and trust. Always here when you need us. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary by bringing you better ways to handle your money. By updating our system and implementing great new features and benefits to you, like an automated phone number that allows you quick, safe, and easy access to your account 24-7. The ability to transfer funds and send money to anyone with just a few simple steps. The security of e-statements, no more hard copies through the mail, and you can set up text alerts that give you instant information about your account. Here's to another 60 years of making life easy for our members. More community involvement and continuing to be more efficient, safe, secure, stronger, and better than ever. Drop by any time or visit us online at ultimaha.org. And join us today to reap the benefits of a financial institution that's run by hometown people with a hometown attitude towards service. Come home to Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. County Softball, brought to you by Lysi's Body Shop and the Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Official score 15-0. They cut off at 15. It's a 15-run rule in three innings. With us is the winning pitcher, Mary Tillman. Six batters, four strikeouts. Congratulations. Uh, pretty good day for you. Thank you. And uh, it seemed like you had everything going. Yes, sir. But again, the team's going to rely on pitching all season long, so you're going to be a big part of it. So you got to be happy with your first start here in 2016 yes sir we are your thoughts on the overall team uh we've been practicing real hard and um working hard to get to this point and i think we're gonna have a good season ahead okay as a pitcher how many pitches do you have tell us your strongest pitches mm-hmm. fastball of course we saw that what else you have curveball rise ball screwball how about a change up got a change up got a change up okay so you got the whole repertoire huh Yes, sir. What's your favorite pitch? Rise ball. Rise ball. Well, what's a rise ball? It's got a good hop on it. It's a good hop on it. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing that. You have to indicate over here when you throw that rise ball. Okay? Yes, sir. Well, I was impressed. Very good. Four out of six strikeouts. So congratulations on the big win. Thank you. Okay. Let's get Ashley Burkhalter in here. Big day at the plate. Ashley, congratulations. Uh, pretty easy win for the team here, first game. Yes, sir, it was. Did y'all think it was going to be this easy? Or? Um, we knew we had a good chance coming in, but we were working hard, so it helped us even more. Well, again, you had two big hits on the day, drove in a bunch of runs. Uh, your thoughts on this overall team? How long do you think it's um, for a I think we, championship? Yes, sir. I think we have a good offensively strong team and defensive. We've been working hard this year. And the pitcher looks pretty good. Yes, sir, it does. Okay. Well, congratulations on the big day. Thank you. So Coach Dave Madry here gets his thoughts on the big win. Again, Coach, a uh, pretty easy game. Uh, six, 15-0 is the final officially. With the, they ended on the 15-run rule, but actually scored 16. But they got off 15. But, again, can't ask for more. Both your pitchers, uh, Mary Tim and Haley Dennison, look strong on the mind. Played good defense, hit the ball well. So, I mean, A-plus all the way around for this team in game one. Yeah, we were really excited about that start. That was what we were hoping to see. We made some defensive plays, had good pitching and catching, and, of course, the bats were pretty hot tonight. And uh, we're glad to see all those girls swinging those bats and scoring those runs. We want to take that momentum right on into the season. And you got a big game tomorrow, a tougher opponent, of course, the Pierce rivalry, always fun. And, uh, again, should be an interesting battle over there at Pierce County. Absolutely. Pierce uh, has got us the last couple of years in the season opener. And uh, Coach Standard and Liberty wanted to play a little earlier, so it worked out. We opened with them this week, and we're going to, like I said, try to take today's momentum over to Pierce County 
and uh, face some good pitching and some uh, good defense, and they always put the ball in play. I know Coach Spires will have her team ready, so we're looking forward to the challenge tomorrow. Okay, go, Coach. Always good to see you. Again, appreciate you being here on the postgame show, and congrats on the first win. Absolutely. Thank you, too, Bob. Okay, that's going to do it for the broadcast. Again, thanks to Sean O'Quinn and Country Financial for being the sponsor of the postgame show. Again, thanks to our sponsors for allowing us to be here to bring you this live play-by-play action all season long. And before I leave, we just want to thank them one final time. Lighty Body Shop, Altamar Federal Credit. Credit Union, Southside Automotive, Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, Robert Brockman and State Farm, Interstate Credit Union, Remax and Area Back, and again, Sean O'Quinn, your country financial post game sponsor. If you'd like to be a sponsor, girls softball, just give us a call Monday through Friday. We can put you on the list of sponsoring girls softball. Again, that's going to do it for the broadcast. Game one in the book, a 15 0 3 inning affair, Wayne County over Liberty. Until next broadcast, a week from Tuesday, Bob Morgan saying so long, everybody. minor mechanical repairs, diagnostic testing, tune-ups, oil changes, brakes. Southside Automotive is the place for quality repairs and prompt service. Make sure your AC is working its best for this hot summer. Joey says stop by today, we'll take care of you. If you want the best of automotive services, stop by Southside Automotive on 301 South in Chasm. Call 427-9653. That's 427-9653. Southside Automotive. It's game time, and the Yellow Jackets are ready to take the field, and you can be ready, too, when you stop by Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop and purchase your Wayne County gear, shirts, sports hats, jackets, windbreakers, you name it, they've got it just for you to get ready for the game. Sheffield's has all types of sporting goods equipment to have your team looking their best for whatever the sport may be, and they are your Under Armour gear headquarters in Wayne County. Sheffield says go Jackets and invite you to stop by, get what you need to wear to support your team. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, located at 1516 West Orange Street in Jessup. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. What? Do you think the State Farm jingle really works? Like for real? Like if you sing the jingle, will your agent actually appear and help you out? Yeah. Of course it works. I saw it on the Internet. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. (sighs) That's your agent. Oh, I'm next. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there with a giant stuffed panda bear. Call me today, State Farm agent Robin Eubanks, 427-6008. And we wish the Lady Yellow Jackets a wonderful year. We're speaking with Al Gruber from Air Evac Life Team Base here in Jessup. Al, why should I be a member of Air Evac? Jim, life is full of dangerous possibilities, but you can gain financial security for your whole household for only $65 a year. In the event that you are transported as a member of the Air MedCare Network, Air Evac will work with your benefits provider to secure payment for your flight. Whatever your benefits provider pays will be considered.